reminder that tomorrow night on BBC One, instead of our published film at 10.45, we'll be bringing you live coverage of the first leg of a three-match final in the World Series Cup Cricket from Australia. That starts at 10.45 and continues through the night until 7 o'clock on Sunday morning. In just under 10 minutes, BBC Two begins a season of films featuring the British-born actress Ida Lupino, who stars tonight with Humphrey Bogart in the gangster thriller High Sierra. And there's a change now to the published late film on BBC One. In place of Rosebud, a story which all too closely parallels current developments in the Middle East, we're showing the humorous account of how a couple of crooks are blackmailed into keeping a group of adolescents on the straight and narrow. Sidney Poitier and Bill Cosby star in A Piece of the Action. You were. Don't ever hang up on me. Don't. Just listen. I'll pick you up in ten minutes. No, Matthew. Look, I don't want to go with you. What do you mean it's something special? Look, just tell me what it is. Well, how do you expect me to go with you when you won't even tell me? Look, Matthew, just forget all about me. Just forget you ever met me. Hello, love. Ah, <laughs> oh, what was that, darling? Wrong number. I see. Uh, I brought the doc over to see you. I thought a thorough check wouldn't go amiss. What? Tomorrow afternoon, then. We do our best. I've got flu and a sprained ankle, that's all. Diane, you've been living rough for three months. How do you know I've been living well, rough? Well, haven't you? Diane, you could have picked up anything, love. It's for your sake. My sake. Well, of course it is. Your father's concerned, Diane. Look, you've been out there, you could have got anything at all, sweetheart. Like what? Well, like... Like... Leave it to the doctor, Frank. Come on, Dad. Come on, what's really bothering you? I mean, what's the real problem? You, Donald James Woods, are declared a banned person in terms of the Internal Security Act. I know you. You're willing to tear our lives apart just to see Donald Woods on a book cover. With Steve Biko dead, an editor faces a perilous flight from bigotry. I can't believe I've gone this far. I just have to turn around and go back again. Penelope Wilson and Kevin Klein star in the gripping culmination of Richard Attenborough's Cry Freedom, 7.45 Sunday on BBC One. BBC Two will be off to Lords in 25 minutes for coverage of the day's sporting action from the Test cricket. And on BBC One at 12.35, we've highlights from the final day's racing at Royal Ascot. First on BBC One, computerised crime provides that essential spark of excitement for Donald Sutherland in our film, A Man, A Woman and A Bank. Absolutely no news is good news for Martin. And when the going gets tough, the tough get back. Does they're auctioning off your house tomorrow? Oh, that's good, isn't it? Eh? The bank, they sling you out of your house, but they keep sending letters there. Oh, that's funny, that is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking about putting it on the back of a postcard and sending it a little large. You know what they say? The darkest hour is just before dawn. We'll start the bidding at uh, 100,000 pounds. 100,000? Thank you, sir. <laughs> Get back tomorrow at 8.30 on one. We're putting on the style here on One in 20 Minutes when the clothes show finds fashions to make mums-to-be shine at formal occasions. What boys want to wear versus how their mothers want them to look. And recession beating shopping on the coast. First, double trouble on the cartoon front. Welcome back. The next film in the classic series was possibly the most famous or even notorious British picture of the immediate post-war era, The Wicked Lady. The stars in a rattling good yarn about the high woman and the lady are Margaret Lockwood and James Mason, who for several years in the 1940s were the two hottest properties at the British box office. The movie was remade a few years ago with Faye Dunaway in the Margaret Lockwood role, but have no truck with a remake because it's not a patch on the original. And it's the original that we'll be showing next Tuesday night. Goodbye.
Now, John Wayne is back in action on Boxing Day on BBC Two when he stars with Henry Fonda in Fort Apache, a cavalry western, the first from director John Ford. That's at 11am, Boxing Day on Two. Here on BBC One, we have a Christmas Day trek to the Wild West as we brave the corruption and violence of the town of Silverado, which is about to undergo a change at the hands of some less than enthusiastic heroes. John Cleese and Kevin Kline are among the stars of Silverado at 9.20. And here's the full picture of our evening, with Cliff Richard and Sally Magnuson hosting a celebration of Christmas for all the family at 6.30. The Boswells experience life in Rome in a special edition of Bread at 7.15, then at 8.30 it's the Russ Abbott Christmas show. The news is at ten past nine, followed by Silverado. Then at 11.30 we hear the Christmas story from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. And to complete the day, there's a spectacular Broadway musical with Gordon McRae and Shirley Jones in Carousel at 11.40. And that's our evening, Christmas Day, on BBC One. And now with suitably jingling bells, the Christmas Day weather. It'll be mild, but mostly cloudy. Rain over northeast Scotland will clear, but western coasts and hills are likely to have an odd shower. The best of any brightness will be in sheltered eastern areas, and there may be the odd sunny interlude. Temperatures tomorrow will reflect the mildness, ranging from 9 degrees Celsius, 48 Fahrenheit in northern Scotland, to 14 Celsius, 57 Fahrenheit in the south. Wind will be from the south or southwest quite brisk at times, and certainly on the increase over northern Ireland and western Scotland. That's the weather. And that is the time. It is coming on for 22 minutes to 3. In fact, it is now 22 minutes to 3. And we've come to the end of Christmas Eve on BBC One. I hope you've enjoyed our programmes and that you'll join us again during Christmas Day, which has, of course, already started, according to the clock at least. We're uh, closing down now. Don't forget Radio 2 is on the air throughout the night. At the moment, you can catch a Christmas night ride with Alan Dedicote. But now, from all the team on BBC One and from me, Charles Nove, a very good night to you and, of course, a very happy Christmas. Good night.